Hello, my name is Joshua Kuznick. I am a 37-year-old MLBPA certified player agent. I am also a die-hard autograph collector. I started collecting when I was about eight or nine years old. I was sick, I had a bunch of surgeries. In the past time in the hospital, my father and I would write letters to players, get my baseball card signed, get them back, answer questions, or ask questions, answer questions, all that good stuff. So uh, I don't get to do it as much as a sports agent these days because I don't really ask for autographs that much, uh, if ever, uh, especially professionally. I can't do it in baseball. But I still write to retired players in the four major sports, some celebrities and politicians, people that don't conflict with my job. And recently, I unfortunately had a car accident and have had some free time to recover, and I am now writing letters again to professional athletes, politicians, celebrities, and whatnot. So let's see what I got back. So the first batch of letters came in today, and we have five, so let's go. Letter one has a return address on it from Houston, Texas, in old people handwriting. Props to whoever signed this. It is, oh wow, Larry Miggins. This is an original, I believe, 53 or 54 Bowman card. He's 93 years old. Larry Miggins was childhood friends with Vin Scully, I read on the internet. And uh, this is cool, 93 years old, and the card is over 50 years old. So, uh, wow, that's actually pretty awesome. I'm very happy this one came back. Former Cardinal and Giant and Rule 5 draft pick also. Rule 5 was a thing before we were all born. Letter two, Columbia, South Carolina. Oh, wow. Okay, Bobby Richardson, former Yankee great, uh, won multiple World Series, and on the card he was nice enough to write three-time World Series champion, 58, 61, and 62, famously also in the Maserati game, did not win, and uh, nice enough to also write his MLB debut, it was 8-5-55, he played with Mantle, Maris, was on all those great teams, and uh, apparently on October 16, 1962, uh, he stopped a Willie McCovey line drive with runners on second and third to give the Yankees a 1-0 win over the Giants in Game 7 of the 62 World Series. Uh, Mr. Richardson is an awesome dude and always signs his mail and has been really cool to fans for a long time. This is from the 88 Pacific Legends set and this is from the 97 Fleer set from the Million Dollar Moment giveaways and two of my favorite sets ever. Next one, which I forgot to write my first name on this envelope because I was on medication, I'm sure. <laughs> Just saying, that's why I didn't go to work when I wrote these. All right, let's see this. Ooh, hockey. Ah, yes. Norris Trophy winner and Hall of Famer Chris Pronger. That is awesome. He signed a 98 Black Diamond and a Ducks card uh, where he won the Stanley Cup. And uh, the Black Diamond set for 97, 98, when I was 16, was my favorite set in the world. They had different tiers, different subsets of the same player. He wrote, Kuznick, all the best, Chris Pronger, because I didn't write my first name on the envelope, so that's cool. <laughs> Should have written Josh. That was dumb of me, but uh, I'll be sure to write Chris again and thank him for that. Ooh, hockey. That's the first one I've gotten back in some time. Metroplex, Michigan. Let's see what this is. Holograms. Oh, wow. One, two, three, four, five. Mariners, Phillies, Orioles, Toronto. So these are holograms from the 90 Upper Deck set that I get signed by executives or announcers or players that, or people in baseball that don't usually have cards. This is Hall of Famer General Manager Pat Gillick. He got inducted in 2011 and Mr. Gillick was nice enough to sign all of these cards for me. He was the GM of the Orioles when I was the Bat Boy, uh, the Phillies, the Mariners, and the Blue Jays. And uh, Hall of Fame executive. It's always good when you get a Hall of Famer's autograph back. and. Uh, I've actually talked to him in a work capacity at the winter meetings years ago, so uh, yeah, my, my paths have crossed with Mr. Gillick many times. What a good dude. And the last one, and certainly not least, because everyone was nice enough to respond to my, my notes. Oh, yes. We're going to the NBA now. Uh, former Cavs great Craig Elo. This is a 95-96 stadium club card of Craig Elo. This is an... 8990 Fleer card of Craig Elo. Craig Elo, who was famously memorialized by Michael Jordan hitting a game winning shot at the buzzer over the Cavaliers and then fist pumping like crazy. Uh, Craig Elo was the unfortunate man guarding Michael Jordan and forever memorialized for that. So uh, I would like to thank everyone for writing back as always. If this picks up a little bit, I think I'm going to do this more uh, video wise. So, to recap, we got one from 
Uh, hockey, one from basketball and three from baseball. Hall of Famer Pat Gillick, that is that. Bobby Richardson, Yankee great, with the two cool inscriptions. Uh, Larry Miggins, 93 years old. I implore everyone to write those guys. They enjoy being remembered and having a dialogue. Craig Elo, awesome that he's such a good sport about you know everything that happened in his career. He had a great career. Uh, not a great moment at the end for him, but out of his control. And Hall of Famer Chris Pronger, which is super awesome that he still has time for stuff like that. Uh, I encourage all of my clients, uh, Jeremy Jeffers, Carl Suahe, everyone I work for, everyone I've ever worked for, to, to sign as much as possible for fans. Doesn't mean sign everything for dealers, but uh, I encourage everyone to sign every single day, and I think it's great when guys like this have time to respond, and I hope everyone uh, everyone uh, enjoys this and, and sends out some letters themselves, and if anyone needs any help with the addresses, uh, the link I can provide is sportscollectors.net if you sign up for a subscription to them. This is not an ad, I'm not getting paid by them, but that is where uh, you, you can get all of the addresses to any of the major uh, sports uh, personalities. So sportscollectors.net and uh, Star Tiger is another resource if you want to write to celebrities. They are another link where you can, it's a database uh, for, for finding where to mail people, either through the representation or, or PO boxes or whatnot. So, Appreciate the time and hopefully I can share more with you guys and thank you very much.